Okay, you guys, welcome back. We hope that you all will be able to join us. <clears throat> We're back with After Church. Which I think this is one of my favorite parts of church is um, this is the time where you discuss what you learned, uh, what you learned with the scriptures and how to apply it. How does it relate to your life? Um, I, I really like after church. What do you how, what do you think about after church? I, I do, too. I, I what, like do after. You, what do you do after church? <laughs> Wait, let's wait till some people join us. They'll, they'll, they're in. <clears throat> what, what do I do after church? Okay. Wow. You put you put me on the spot. So what do I do after yeah. church? My God. Mm. <clears throat> you know, most time, um, you ask me what I do after church. I'm yeah. Like, wow. <laughs> yeah, you got, a, you got a minute to think. Mm -hmm. Just a minute to, to think about it. Um, when you ask me, say, what did I do after church? Um, wow, God is good. Yeah, so what, yeah, because I'm just thinking, like, what, and I'm thinking about myself too. What are the things that I do after church? Once you are out of, once you have been dismissed, once the pastor has um, prayed the benediction over your life, mm -hmm. um, what do you do after church? And I'm thinking, do are you saying to yourself, Oh, I'm glad to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> We've been in here for a couple of hours now and it's time to go. Or are you thinking about other things that's next on your list to do? So actually, yeah. So what are what are some things that you do after church? Wow. Well, I just wanna um wait a few minutes. Well, are you still thinking? Mm-hmm. You still thinking about the question I asked you? Yeah, let me see, what do I do after church? Uh, wow. Mark chapter like, Luke chapter eleven. Are you looking you looking for an answer in the Bible? No ma'am. <laughs> oh my gosh, she said, What do I do after church? What do I do after church? My Lord. You know, after um a nice word from the Lord, um <laughs> a nice word from the Lord. <laughs> a nice, awesome word, dynamic, anointed, appointed. Oh, uh, the glory. Uh, I can say so much about God's word. Um, you know, after the, the sermon been taught, the teaching, the preaching, you know, what do we do after church? A lot of times, you know, first thing like, man, I'm, I'm hungry. I'm ready to go eat because you didn't pour out that spiritual food. Now you're, you're a little hungry for the physical food, you know, um, and the thing about it is that and not and then sometimes when you think that you're really that hungry, when you get the, you know, your food or you order your food or whether you're coming home to get your food, a lot of times you, you're not as hungry as you thought you was. It's just that thinking, your imagination, but because it's the spiritual food that really holds us. Amen. So we just, we, we, we bless the Lord for that. And we thank God for, um, you know, when you think about when you said, what do I do? Yeah. But I mean, just as a I don't do nothing to come on with you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but I, after church, why we started with the after church is to discuss the scripture, discuss what you learn, not to dissect and to critique exactly. it's the not word, about that. is not critiquing the messenger, but it is about applying how do you apply what you learn to your life, applying what you've heard to your life. Mm -hmm. For instance, Pastor was talking about um, storing up riches on, on earth versus storing them up in, in heaven. Mm -hmm. So, and he, he came from, uh, what was it? What was the first one you came from? Luke chapter, was it 12? Yeah, verses 15 through 21. 15 through 21. <clears throat> and speaking about the, 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 the man that was so wealthy <laughs> that, that was crazy, he <laughs> wanted to, he decided to store up yes. his riches. He had so much that the barns that he had wasn't enough. So he decided to tear that down and build up a greater barn mm -hmm. to hold all of his riches and his wealth, his mm -hmm. material wealth. And God's, and then, and then he says, and then, cause I've got so much now I'm going to sit back, relax, <laughs> eat, be merry. Yes. Oh, you remember and, 
All right. You know, she was listening. <laughs> you don't think I'm listening? My number one student, y'all. <laughs> and then, you know, I think the, the um, amplified version uses the word when in, in, um, instead of Mary, it uses the word celebrate. Celebrate. So he wow. decided he's going to just eat and celebrate mm-hmm. every day the rest of his life, thinking he's going to live for a long, long, Many long years. time. Wow. But, hey there, Judy. Oh, excuse me. Hey there, Lee. Amen. Good afternoon. <laughs> but God says, what Cousin a fool. Harry. Yeah, what a fool. Your soul is going to be required of you today yes at, right now at this moment so now now that your soul is required of you today now what's going to happen to your wealth you're not going to use it now mm. it's stored up for somebody else mm. so mm. since you want to be selfish and thinking that it's all about you wow. let's see what you're going to do when once this is all taken away from you once once you are taken away from it wow not that it's taken away from you but now you or your soul is taken away from that. My God. So you mm. won't get to enjoy it. My so God. a lot of times somebody we else see, won't get to enjoy yeah, it. Yeah. So a lot of times we see people that where yeah they're still um, here on this earth, mm-hmm. but they're not able to enjoy it mm-hmm. because of sickness, because of um, failing health, because of all sorts of things. They're not able. And look, maybe they may be able. They may have stored the stuff up and they may be locked away. They may be wow. in prison. All sorts of things can take place and you're not able to enjoy this, these things that you're building up mm-hmm. for yourself. Or not building up, but you're hoarding. Mm-hmm. It's a difference to build. Yes, God wants you to enjoy life and enjoy the things that um, he allows you to have. But don't use these things to hoard it. And you can't enjoy You can't. You can't use it. That's good. Because you can only... like. Um, who says, I don't remember who said this, but I heard it before. You can accumulate all of these cars, mm-hmm. but how many cars can you drive at a time? Wow. Yeah, you can drive, you can have five different cars. You can drive one car a week, but is that realistic? Mm-hmm. Is that realistic? So you're storing up all of these things when someone, you see someone else that they're that's walking, they're struggling yes. and they're yes. trying to make it. Yes. And you see someone else that's, that 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 could use one of these cars, and you're just driving by them every day. Say you're driving right. by this person every day of the week with a different car, mm-hmm. when you could share that with someone else. Wow. So you know, and, and yeah, God wants God blesses that's a powerful you. powerful text. The word says. Yes. He blesses you Come on. to be a blessing. That's good. That's good, Dale. He blesses. Amen. Yeah, you can have five Amen. cars. Amen. But will you? What do you do? Are you using it to bless others? Wow. Have your five cars, but get, or even help, more. Help someone else. Yeah. Help someone else along the way. So. You know when when you say that and that's when you say that I thought about it when you were talking and uh, a lot of times you know like you said stuff this man had plenty plenty and a lot of time we you know the Bible is being unfolded. And reveal even today with America, USA had plenty, got plenty, still got plenty. But here it is. Do they really give reverence to God? And that's why we got to repent and turn from our evil and sinful way and come back to God, America. People, we got to come back to God. Amen. But here it is. When you think about it, and you said it earlier, a lot of times, you know, they got materialistic, they, they got materials, they got things, they got stuff, whether it's car, whether it's house, whether it's the business, whether it's money um, and all this stuff. And, uh, and a lot of time here it is, we can, you know, God has already spoken to some of us to say, well, bless this one, do this, give give to this one. And like, man, I don't, it's not about what you don't know, it's about hearing the voice of God and being obedient. This man never once said we or God, who do you want me to bless? It was always I, I, I'm going to be at ease. I, I'm I'm going to eat. I'm going to drink. I'm going to be merry. I'm going to, what he was saying, I'm going to sit back and chill. Yeah, sit back and chill. And I'm, I'm, so look, you're going to sit back in all your, all your luxury and watch other people suffer. Wow. And you know that that brings us to this point and what we talked about earlier you know, when you said your mom, my mom, and we thank God for that because they were always given. Mm-hmm. 
they were always given. She's going on to be with the Lord. And Lord, I, like I said, I miss her dearly. And I thank God for her spirit of giving. No one came to my mother's house without their, they leaving with something out of that big, deep refri um, freezer. Amen. She was always giving, not only just giving, but the thing about it is that um, when people give to her, she store it up, put it in the freezer. Um, they would, you know, back in the day, they would jar pears and put um, peaches in jars and different stuff. But you don't even see that in today's society where people would really still store jars like peaches and pears in jars now, that fast, go with cornbread. You, you going, <laughs> you going down, another, you opening up a whole okay. nother subject here. Now. Okay. So. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, like it's, it's so much that I can share and and tell not only the viewers but tell people about how good and how god has really blessed us and blessed mom when she was here on this earth for 85 plus years to be a blessing mm -hmm. to give to other people even when she cooked she didn't cook just for the 12 right. kids right. she cooked for the village yeah. and that's a blessing and whoever came by and it doesn't matter they were always uh, she would always give to them, whether it's food, however, whatever, whatever she had, she didn't hold on to it. And you know what I love? Not only did she cook for the 12, 12 kids, but she cooked for me. <laughs> <laughs> she cooked for me. See? <laughs> so, and I just, I love the relationship that I have with my, I have nothing, with my against the, uh, nothing against the other daughter-in-law now. She oh, cooked no. For all. <laughs> no, she cooked for them all, but she cooked especially for me. Stop it. <laughs> Because I always told her, I said, Ning, tell the truth. I'm your favorite, right? <laughs> so that's the kind of relationship that I had with my mother-in-law, and I loved her so much. I, I miss her a whole lot. So, um, yeah, that was that was our running joke. So, but, yeah, just, just see how, how people give and they enjoy giving. Yes. And, you know, what I love about it is mm -hmm. that not again, which I said earlier, it didn't just apply to her. She was being an example. Yes. For her children yes. and her children's children. Because when I look at the grandchildren, mm. the great grandchildren, Come on. you know, the, we're seeing them growing up One and, 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 and giving and looking out for each other. Yes. Nieces Not and just, nephews. Yeah, we, th and this is what I love. You know, they, it, it's, they look out for one another. And they're gonna make sure that that they're okay with each other, that that they're okay, that there's nothing lacking. But um, yeah, that, I I just I love that family, and I, I love and the same thing for my family as well too. Yes. You know. Yes. Your mom but, would always. Yeah. You know, just seeing <clears throat> how my mom just give of what she has and yes. not asking, because um, because anytime you go into my mom's house. Or if you were going into my mother-in-law's house, you will eat. Yes, and and they <laughs> you, and you the, will be satisfied. And your family know when she come here, Aunt Helen or mother, um, how she's cooking not just for us, right? But yeah. others come over also. Right. So it's it's not only just the food, but it's the love that these ladies mm -hmm. give. Right. And that's what it, that's what it boils down to is the love because if the love for God wasn't in their heart. They wouldn't, they couldn't, and they couldn't do yeah, it. Yeah, because if, if if you if the love is not in your heart to do something, and not mm -hmm. to, even with cooking, but if your love is the love is not in your heart, you're gonna do it grudgingly. Yes. You're gonna be complaining and whining mm -hmm. about it. And who really want? Look, God says He says in His Word. Um, he loves what is a it? cheerful um, giver. No, not that one. Um, Which one? When you give, don't give of um, nece necessity. Yeah. Or, or of, he loves um, a cheerful giver. Yeah. Well, I'll get back. I'll get yes. back to that. Yeah, don't give, don't be stingy, don't be whining and complaining. If you're gonna do that, then keep it, because mm -hmm. it's not benefiting you, and it's not benefit. Who wants something? You think I want? If I, if you're gonna give me something, mm -hmm. but you're whining and complaining about it and mm -hmm. say, oh, why do I need to do this? I don't want to do this. Then I'm gonna take, keep it. I don't want it. If you're gonna act, if you're gonna have an attitude behind it, well, then if keep I it. give give you a hundred dollars and. You said twenty. I want my change. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh <Yeah>. my God! <laughs> but this is who we are. We we bless the Lord for the ministry, the marriage ministry, <clears throat> and everything that God has 
given to us that we can share with the viewers and you be a blessing too also to receive this because um you know that scripture we talked about you can go back and watch the video later on um on our on my page or either um youtube where we talked about um lost identity but the the um the title was the um uh, the danger of possession so wait a minute so back to the original question because we're getting ready to wrap this up amen so back to the original question okay because this is after church okay so what do you do after church what do me myself what do i do after church um i don't know you know if we were in the building physically but you know um we're not um normally um we would either you know by then you know once you done um present the word of god to god's people pray with god's people then um some receive salvation um afterward after we get through with the service after the benediction by then i would say um you know i'm ready for some physical food i'm gonna be honest with you because the spiritual food has already been poured out and i'm i'm ready to go eat um, whether it's out to a restaurant we can't do that as often or however now or either um come home and eat some of her good cooking Boy, you know you know how to butter me up. <laughs> oh, but, but I'm thinking. What do you do? I figured you would ask me that. Yes. So what do I do after church? Once I've heard the word, I'm I'm meditating on it. Mm -hmm. Even as when we go out to eat, or as we get in the car once we leave, and I have a moment to myself. Even while we're in the car. Sometimes we may continue to discuss, yes, yes. discuss that scripture and how to apply that word to your life. So just like, for instance, today, what we talked about is um, the danger of possession. Yeah. Being careful of storing up things for yourself. On, on this earth. Mm -hmm. So that makes me think of my own personal life. What am I doing with the things that I have? Yes. How do, how am I, how am I using what I have to help others? Shoe sale coming up, y'all. Nah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> stay away from my shoes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess with my shoes. <laughs> but, and I, and personally, really, I just, I passed the guy up two o'clock in the morning. He came in the closet and said, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm going through my shoes seeing what I can get rid of because there is time to go through them and see what I need to get rid of because it's, I don't want to be a hoarder. I don't want to be a hoarder, even though I, I like shoes. I like to buy shoes, <laughs> but, um, there comes a time I have to go through them. So now's the time for me to go through not only my shoes, but my clothing as well too. And even, um, you know, household things. Cause I mm -hmm. like to, decorate stuff and buy things to make things look different but then I when I buy I need to say to myself what am I getting rid of I need mm -hmm. to get rid of it because even like if I buy a particular if I buy a piece of clothing I have to tell myself I'm learning to tell myself it wasn't always I couldn't always do this I didn't know to do this um, but I have to say to myself okay what am I getting rid of for everything that I buy, I really have to begin to say, well, I used to say, if I buy a blouse, I'm going to get rid of a blouse. Mm -hmm. But now I'm getting to the place where I'm saying I'm going to get rid of two. Amen. So I'm starting give to in say, and give out. yeah, because like, it just doesn't make sense to have all of this stuff. And now, now I'm in the midst of a pandemic where you really can't go out and enjoy stuff. You can't go out um, like we used to. Mm -hmm. But then what's the sense in keeping all this stuff? You're just sitting in here watching all of it. Wow. And I don't want to, I don't want to be in that place where, um, where is, 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 is rotten when someone else could be using it. Mm -hmm. Someone else could have benefited from it. So that's what I'm choosing wow. to do right now. So I'm saving me some money in this pandemic, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, so, yeah, so taking that scripture, what we learned and literally yes, yes. applying it to your own life. And that's what I love about this scripture. As you were talking, that scripture 
it's not it's talking to an end he's talking to an individual mm-hmm. make this personal yes. it's not about what someone else is doing it's what about you well, it's yeah. what you are doing Amen. in your life so <clears throat> the scriptures yeah the scriptures is meant for everyone but we can't like i think you were saying some what triggered this thought is you were saying that um america is rich and it's time for america to repent but we have to first start with ourselves mm-hmm. and with this 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 rich wealthy person god was speaking to him not someone else yes. not a group not a and household he had plenty. but it first starts with us if Amen. we want america to repent start with ourselves first Amen. we can't go to someone else demanding that they repent <clears throat> Start start in our own lives, and when we do when we do good in our own lives, when we start repenting in our own lives, that's displayed. Yes. Um, in our in our walk, in our actions, we don't necess- we don't have to quote the scriptures to them. We just have to live it. Live it. If we're living it, people will see it. Just like for instance, with my mother in law, with the food, the way she was feeding people, she wasn't saying, "Well, God said this, and the Bible says that." I saw her doing these things. Yes. And it, and it was truly a, a blessing um, right before our own very eyes. And, you know, just, you know, the thing about it, and I know there's others that do the same, but the thing about it is that, as I said before, um, this man right here who had plenty, the danger of possession, oh, my God, is just every time I think about it, I was like, wow. I mean, the thing about it, and there's other scriptures, of course, we'll probably pick up um, Wednesday night with Bible study on this because this is so powerful. It just has stirred something, you know, um, even with all this, God is allowing all of us to examine and take an examination of ourselves. And you said it. So we just, we thank God for it. Amen. You know, that just, your title just triggered another thought. And then I'm I'm not going to say anything else. I'm done. You sure? <laughs> but <laughs> See I, I won't say anything else. <laughs> during this video, but when you said the danger of possession, see, but you, it made me think the possession of what? Mm-hmm. Because yeah, there's a da- there's a certain danger in the abundance of material possession. Mm-hmm. There's a possible danger because, you know, s- some people can, can do well with an abundance. Mm-hmm. At, they can learn to do well with an abundance of material things, but then when you're talking about the possession of of um, what God has given you, the 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 possession of of the word, because mm-hmm. I mean, what, when you say the danger of possessions, what pos- possession of what? Mm-hmm. If we, I, I think we need to clarify that some more, and maybe we can discuss that some more on Wednesday, because you can possess so many things. But when you when you possess the word of God, mm-hmm. that's a great thing. And when you are um, possessing an abundance of the word, an abundance of His Spirit, mm-hmm. Amen. Pastor. Mm-hmm. So, um, so I think that that's maybe we can continue that discussion yes, on, on yes. Wednesday. That. Because that just opened up another thought right there. And, and it did. And, and when you think about, like you said, the rich man, he had it all. He had, you know, plenty. You know, he, God allowed him. And like I said, God gave, he don't even realize, he didn't realize that God gave him the seed to harvest the ground. Mm-hmm. And he just wanted to save, think he's going to do it for many years to come. But the Bible said, thou fool, thy soul is wanting today, now. Well, um, we just thank God for the word. Thank God for each and every one of you joining us um, for after church. And it's a blessing. Um, anything you care to say before we close? No, no, you're not setting me up like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Amen. Amen. So All is well? Say, yeah, that I enjoyed the service, enjoying the after church. And um, our prayer is that you enjoy it as well, too. And... Um, Again, I'll I will post in the notes um, ways to give mm-hmm. um, and sow seeds to this ministry if if God is laying that upon your heart to sow a seed um, and know that you know that your seeds that you're sowing into this ministry is not just to benefit our local ministry 
but we our, 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 our prayer is for God to always show us where to sow seeds and where to help who what ministry we should help because we certainly want to help those that are in need Amen. Um, of food shelter um and and however else we can help however the lord shows us so um just know that your seeds do not just sit at kingdom empowerment ministries amen we um we our, our goal is to um partner with other ministries that are doing doing the, the, the that are out there in the forefront and helping feeding the hungry hungry because right now you know we're not able to do it but those that are able to do it mm -hmm. we want to partner with them and help them so just know that your seeds are are helping others amen anything else so after church god bless you <laughs> we'll see you on wednesday 7 p.m for bible study as the lord willing and if the Lord Shatara is coming, share. Um, we pray that you can also not only just share the video, but also share the word, what you've learned and what was taught today. Amen. Yes. God and please you. stay safe out there. Stay safe and wear your mask and wash your hands as often as possible. Okay. Come on, Mama Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> so God bless you and have a great Sunday. Amen. <laughs>